Alright, hello everyone, it's Team Rocket Joss here with another Pokemon card opening. And for this video, guys, we're gonna be opening the Lucario and Melmetal GX Tag Team 10. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited, guys. This is the first time that I opened this right here. Uh, there's actually three that you guys could open up um in the series and uh yeah so the only one that i have is the Mel metal and lucario i don't know why i'm having so much trouble actually pronouncing that uh but here's the back if you guys want to pause it and read it so we do get four uh packs in this tin guys and uh yeah let's open it so i do have a few more of these tents um, and I think I'll be saving them for the actual packs. If I ever want to do like random Pokemon card openings, I'll probably just do, uh, I might save one for my sealed collection. And then the rest I could just open up for my random Pokemon uh, booster pack openings. And uh, just ahead of time, I wanted to apologize if I sound weird or there's pauses or cuts in the video, guys. I haven't been feeling too good. Got a really bad headache, especially right now. Um, so I apologize if I just sound a little bit weird and different. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let me get the actual card out oh and there we go and it has this right here if i could get it out i don't think i will here's the code card guys hopefully you guys get something good i think that's a j after the c although it looks like a u i believe that's a j though so not bad and let's go over the actual gx guys so um this is my first time seeing this so i apologize if i'm i stare at it too long it's actually a really cool art uh just lucario in that fighting pose as well as mel metal um that's actually really cool so it has steel fist for 200g which does 50 and then heavy impact for four which does 150 and then the gx move for metal wall so it's actually really cool set that aside now we do get this right here which i don't know what it is to be honest i think it's a a little metal thing it's really cool though um i don't know what this is for i wonder if this is just so you can know like that you use your uh, gx move already because you're only allowed to use one per game or card i believe i think it's per game so this will let you know if you used it already and then let's see at the uh, cards that we get in this um in this tin so we get a cosmic eclipse we get a lost thunder celestial storm ooh, and an evolution so okay so we get a good variety of packs in this set guys i'm glad that i was able to pick this up so we're gonna save i believe evolutions for last um i kind of like cosmic eclipse and i think we're just gonna go like this so let's start it off hopefully we get something good didn't open too many of the lost thunder packs and unfortunately i saw that we did get a a white code card for this one but that just means that we got something good right here's the code card at least the hollow one two three four sun and moon yeah this is four all right, guys, so we're going to start off with a Dark Energy Choice Helmet. We got a Mantine, Giraffe Rig, Larvitar, a Psychedelic Slowpoke. What are you doing, Slowpoke? It, it seems like his tail came out. If you guys ever played the, what was it, the Game Boy game uh, where Team Rocket used to uh, steal all the Slowpoke tails for like soup or something like that, Cup Chew. Uh, we got a, a lowland diglet looking for something seems like he lost something we got a not to our reverse is going to be a ninjas which is uh uncommon and for a rare it's going to be a hollow which ended up being a blissy so not that bad Here we go guys get it all sleeved up i don't have this hollow so that's actually pretty cool um happiness supplement once during your turn before you attack you may remove one special condition from your active pokemon okay so i wonder if you could play that in the bench that'd be a it's a good question right there i'm not big on the actual tcg game so i apologize guys we got a bag on that's our first card all right here's oh we ended up getting another one that one's upside down it seems like we got at least another hollow 
and it's sun and moon so it is four and i don't believe i've opened too many celestial storms guys uh i ended up buying a booster box of this but it ended up being fake i i, I got it for really cheap so i can't imagine it was fake um beldum we got a low tad uh c dot our reverse is gonna be a love disc and it seems like we did get an ultra rare guys it seems like we ended up getting a gx as far as i can see um so we ended up getting ooh, a bayonet gx so there we go wow i really like this pokemon it's always been a pokemon that i enjoyed um like having it's actually really cool look at the background though it seems like there's what is that uh, it's just kind of random i don't know if it's like smoke or what it is but that's actually cool uh so it has the ability shady move once during your turn before you attack if this pokemon is your active pokemon you may move one damage counter from one pokemon to one another so there we go guys pretty cool i don't have it so i'm glad i'll take it for sure so and uh, one thing that I wanted to show you guys was that I started uh, putting all my ultra rares in a binder and um, I'm pretty much done as far as I know. So I'll be showing you guys that soon. So that's going to go in there for um, that binder. Actually have it right next to me. I'll show you guys in a video. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys would be interested. And um, that's actually a really cool onyx unfortunately it's backwards here's the code card sun and moon one two three four we didn't get anything good so i don't know if it matters we're gonna start off with the grass energy we got a floet a sangoose which is gonna be our favorite art of the video we got a Biporion, that really cool onyx a psychedelic wilmer we got a poppy toad cricket top a palm our reverse is gonna be a type no which is uh uncommon and for our final card it's gonna be a regular rare fioni so that's actually really cool i don't have the i've never seen this art before so that's actually really cool i like that i'd choose that as my favorite art if i didn't get that sangus kind of like that art uh, it's my first time seeing that sangus as well and now for our last pack guys it's gonna be an evolution with that blastoise hopefully we get something good i haven't opened too many evolutions lately just because uh, they're a little bit harder to come by um they're just a little bit more expensive guys so hopefully the code card is not backwards no it's not here's the code card hopefully you guys get something good so one two three i believe evolutions is three to the back so we're gonna start off with the kakuna we got a pidget spare link blastoise and it seems like we ended up pulling an ultra rare guys i see something shiny in the back unfortunately that means we didn't pull that charizard uh, but there's still a chance that we got that uh, reverse hollow charizard nope we ended up getting an onyx and for our final card of the pack i'm gonna say that it's gonna be a pidgeot or no, it's blue. So what is, what's blue? A Blastoise? Oh yeah, we ended up pulling the Mega Pidgeot, which I have already, unfortunately, but I'll take it. Centering is really off in this card, guys. Evolutions, they did not take care of this set. Look at that, it's like uh, right to left. Wow, the centering is really bad in this one. Um, I do have this one already, unfortunately, but I'll take it. Mega Pidgeot. It's actually a really cool card. I always like this one, but I know it's not like it, it's not hard to pull. In other words, it's one of the easier uh, ultra rares to pull. Obviously, the Charizards being um, a little bit harder, or the full arts. But there we go, guys. We ended up pulling at least something in this video. Uh, we ended up getting a Mega Pidgeot EX and the Blissey Hollow. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video, guys. For uh, let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite art of the video, and let me know why. Uh, for me, it's gonna be the Sand Goose, which is actually really cool. I really like the effect of the yellow, kind of like the dusk uh, look to it a little bit. It seems like he's in the desert, uh, kind of like feel to it. You know what I mean? 
um, Sangus has always been like a really cool Pokemon to me for some reason. I've always liked it, especially me hating snakes. Uh, Sangus, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, because if you guys weren't aware, he's kind of like um, taking after like a mongoose, I believe. And uh, yeah, they're, they're always like fighting with like snakes and like and whatnot. So uh, just me not liking snakes. It's actually really cool um, Pokemon for me. And uh, yeah, guys, so overall, he's actually really cool. Look at the claws. Man, you don't want to mess with the Sangus. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to be it from uh, this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And I guess I'll just catch you guys on the next one. Team Rocket Draws out.